wrestling fans, this is Sal Wuffcut Lasada reporting in from Orlando, Florida with another edition of Rough Cuts coming at you this week. I'm going to break this out into two quick parts. Uh, one, SummerSlam is in the books. And what about the ovation of CM Punk on AEW recently? I'm going to get to both of those topics real quick. Please be advised, these are my opinions. My opinions only, they're not affiliated with any wrestling promotion or bill after. Let's get right to it. SummerSlam took place over the weekend on, uh, on uh, August 21st. Uh, they did it on Saturday. They did next to take over the following night. It has its highs and lows. Overall, I was disappointed in SummerSlam, if you ask me. I was overall disappointed. Um, I was happy that RKO, the brothers, Matt Riddle, Randy Orton, uh, to get the titles. I was happy with that. I really thought that was, I predicted that. I was very excited for that. I thought the Goldberg match was an absolute total waste of time with Lashley. Absolutely a total waste of time. And if this is going to set up another umpteen time or something, I, you know, I, I was totally disappointed in it. Just absolutely disappointed. It just makes it seem like now Goldberg going to beat Lashley. Uh, in Saudi Arabia or something, wherever they may be going with it. I was very, I was happy to see Becky Lynch back with the way she wanted. I mean, I predicted her to go on Raw, but she shows up out of nowhere and with Sasha Banks out, gets the title in two moves. If Bianca Belair was really hurt, and this is my opinion, that she was really, maybe she was just really injured, then why did you have her compete and maybe just surrender the title to two top contenders? Maybe Becky comes out and someone else. But it was a travesty the way that she won an SB with Sasha and had pretty much the match of the year in the eyes of the SBs and headlining main event with WrestleMania and all that, only to be squashed by Becky in two moves. I have no problem with Becky winning. It was the way Becky came back and went about winning it. And I think that's the disappointment. The fans let Becky know how they felt about it. Two moves and the match was over. Absolutely disappointing. Disappointing the way it went, went down. I mean, even if she was really hurt that she shouldn't have been. And Sasha Banks was billed. If Sasha Banks was billed, then why did we have this? then I understand the factor in giving the shot value of Becky coming back, but it made no sense. It made, it made no sense at all whatsoever. And I was disappointed there. Going forward, Reigns and Cena, everybody knew, and I said this, there was no way Roman Reigns was going to lose this match at all. Cena's going back to Hollywood. I mean, the only justification is that he would have won it and dropped it right back, and it makes no sense. So I wasn't totally shocked by it. I, Brock Lesnar coming out, and Roman is going to be good. It's going to be an uptick for TV ratings on SmackDown. So there was some good in that. Yes, there was some good in that. I, I, I said Charlotte Flair would win the women's title. I am still disappointed. I don't agree with it, but I think what this does is we all knew that that Nikki was not going to have the title for long, but I think Charlotte's just warming it up for Rhea, and Rhea will get the title back. Rhea is the future. You heard Charlotte comment on Twitter and in interviews. You know, I mean, Rhea Ripley is the future of the women's division on Raw and in wrestling in general. So I had no problem to a degree as we knew that Nikki was going to lose it and Charlotte was going to win it. And now Rhea goes on to chase as the true baby face. So I kind of had the mixed emotions with that. I was kind of shocked that Edge beat Seth. We'll see interesting where it goes with Seth, but now his wife is with him on SmackDown. Who knows? Maybe they'll, you know, it keeps them together. So not a shock there. Not a shock with the USOs over the Mysterios. So no, no shock factor there at all. Alexa Bliss winning. I think the whole thing about the gimmick is what will be 
with the sales on the Lily doll. That was the whole thing I've been reading about with this Lily doll. How did they do on the sale of people buying a doll and having heartache? Like, um, I, I does 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 Alexa Bliss somehow find her way in the picture as well? I I want to see Alexa and Nikki Bliss cross applesauce team up and drop this gimmick and go after the women's title since Natty's out. I mean, just make the tag titles relevant again and put the belts on the two of them because they'll make it relevant. They did. And, I mean, Bailey's out now. We don't know the extent of Sasha's injury, so at least maybe bring those two back. I I, I don't see why not. I think dropping this whole paranormal supernatural stuff's got to go already. It's got to go. End it already. Honestly, end it. It's just not working for me, but I think it's going to depend on the sales. If people bought this Lily doll, it's here to stay for a while. So it had it highs and lows. Five and a half hours was a bit much for me. I just wasn't overall the quality of the product. I honestly thought that AEW Rampage and AEW Dynamite was better. I actually thought NXT TakeOver was better as well. Um, I, I really thought it was better in, in general. Uh, but I just didn't. I just didn't get the feel. Some of some. I, I I gave this. I gave the show an overall a C minus, C at best. I just was not happy with it overall. I was just. I was one of those people. I just couldn't wait for it to end. I mean, the highlight honestly was the RKO brothers winning the tag team titles, and and that was really really about it. To be honest with you, I wasn't impressed with the main event. Charlotte, R Charlotte, Rhea, and Nikki. Yeah, I thought that was a really good match too. But the rest of it. I just wasn't impressed at all. Honestly, I wasn't impressed. Damian Priest did beat Sheamus. Yes, that was another impressive match. I did predict that Damian would get it, but I wasn't. It just, overall, it just didn't get to me, honestly. So my feelings on SummerSlam was disappointment. Too long, five and a half hours, just way too long. If you're going to do SummerSlam, I mean, they should do it like WrestleMania, maybe two and a half hours and two and a half hours or you know, something, it was just too much. It felt like a long, drawn-out WrestleMania card. And it just was just, I wasn't excited. I'm going to switch gears to CM Punk. People have been asking me about CM Punk. Did you see? Yes. I've been posting it on Twitter. I have never, probably since Hogan got his induction into the WWE and then his match after The Rock on Raw, I've never heard an induction really that long or that drawn out since that point and CM Punk came back. I mean, he literally could have taken up the entire show. I mean, yes, it was in his hometown. It was in Chicago. But the ovation and the feeling of nearly 20,000 people and, and even on Twitter commenting and Bill Alford did a thing on it tells you that 16 years later, he's back in the ring doing something he loves doing. Yeah, he took a couple of shots at the WWE, and rightfully so. But still, he's back. And AEW is in the driver's seat. Let me tell you something. AEW is in the driver's seat. He's going to have a match for Darby Allin. And let me tell you, that is going to be a heck of a match. That is going to be one heck of a match. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see it. That is going to be a heck of a match. Even with Sting and Darby's calling, this is going to be one heck of a match. It's going to blow the roof off the place. People want CM back. But remember, and I'm going to say this on record now, I still think maybe if Daniel Bryan is headed there, and I think it's a very good possibility, could you imagine CM Punk and Daniel Bryan headlining a major pay-per-view for AEW? Wow. Wow. Imagine that. I think a lot has to happen first. I would like to maybe see CM Punk or Daniel maybe get Miro's belt or Christian Cage's belt. There are so many possibilities with Punk there, maybe Brian going, maybe Bray. Adam Cole's contract is up. Could Cole be going? You got Christian down there. I mean, you got former WWE stars that are really making a name in AEW getting the push that they deserve, that they didn't get in, in the WWE. Now, Punk really had this falling out. Daniel Bryan had his push, don't get me wrong, was a former champion. Christian is a former champion as well. But just seeing the evolution of the modern day of these guys, and they're coming into AEW. 
And to hear CM Punk talk and just feel his energy, his passion, that the love of the business never left him. He's, he's going to be sticking around. He's not going to be a part-timer. And I saw the tweet about Bray. And just like a musician, musicians never die. That means to tell me he's headed to AEW. It's not going to be the Fiend Bray gimmick. I believe that's trademark. Wyndham Rotunda or some sort of his name will come in. It'll be interesting to see what they do with him in October, when October, November, when he finally makes that appearance. But by that point, CM Punk is going to take the ball and run with it. If the annual appears in September, which is something I believe is going to happen, he may appear at the pay-per-view, which would be a great place for him to show up. Then you maybe get Adam Cole into this. You're really going to have a brand. you got Dynamite, Rampage. you got a... I mean, you're really building a brand that is becoming a major, major threat. And if I'm the WWE, that CM Punk signing, I'm worried. I am hands down absolutely worried about ratings, about draws, about pay-per-views, about selling out crowds. I am definitely going to be worried over the next six months to a year or so as AEW just took a giant leap. And if Brian is really going, and Bray is going, and maybe even Adam Cole, and you got Christian, Kenny Omega, Don Moxley, Miro, Lance Archer, Sting, Darby Orlin, and the list goes on and on, MJF, you got all these guys, and the women, led by Britt Baker, and Dunder Rosa, and those ladies, watch out. Watch out. They are going to be taking a major, major leap in ratings, merchandising, you name it. I'd be very worried if I'm the WWE right now. I'd be very worried. CM Punk delivered the shot that was heard around the world when he came out. He delivered the blow to the gut of the WWE. That's what he did. And you know what? I loved it. I love every second of it because you know what? If you couldn't find a place from in the WWE, well, they found a place from in AEW and it's left the businesses back. He's not going to take any prisons that anybody else that Tony signs. I'm telling you, this is going to be a huge blow to the WWE. You watch. You're going to see a significant change in ratings, quality, and product and merchandising, you name it, over the next year. You're going to see AEW up here, and you're going to see the WWE start going down. I'm telling you. We could, we could be seeing the beginning of the end. I don't care about Brock and, Brock and Roman and Brock and, and, and The Rock and, and, and Roman and The Rock. It's not going to be enough when you have so much more star power on another brand. So... That's my take. CM Punk delivered the shot, delivered the blow that set the tone for professional wrestling going forward. Welcome back, Punk. Welcome back. Welcome to AEW. And I can't wait to see what you're going to do. You're not a part-timer. You're here to stay. You made it crystal clear. And I can't wait to see because there are so many intriguing matchups with these guys coming in. There are main events anywhere in the world. Main events anywhere in the world. No matter who he faces. And we even have Orange Cassidy and Matt Hardy coming up on Dynamite this week. That is a main event anywhere in the world. Hands down, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait. I'm more excited about watching AEW than I am about the WWE, especially after what I saw at SummerSlam. Honestly. And that's the truth. So with that being said, for this edition of Upcuts, may all your matches be your main event. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Take care of yourselves.